This episode of The Patch is sponsored by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere on your TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Support this podcast and get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus when you go to HuluPlus.com slash patch. That's HuluPlus.com slash patch. This show is sponsored by NatureBox. NatureBox ships great tasting healthy snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and start snacking smarter with healthy, delicious treats like dark cocoa almonds. Support this podcast by ordering a free NatureBox sampler box at NatureBox.com slash the patch. NatureBox.com slash the patch. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the it's patch. the snack cast. Oh, you want to yeah. flip that? Oh, this right. week with uh, Gus. Meg. Ryan. Gus. And, and our Legacy glass. Hourglass, apparently. We, I, I I'm forgot, really sad about the wood. I forgot one. about New Hourglass until right yeah. when I sat Where down. I was like, oh shit, I need it. It's over there. I just, new Hourglass comes from that. like the labyrinth. We need it's to find so a place cool. for it to elevate it. God, this one's all woogity on the... It you know, we good. could put it where that white yeah. Xbox is and then that would just be up for grabs The problem was it didn't quite fit and then when I to flip it, at the beginning of the show, you'd have to pull it out, flip it, and then <laughs> put it back in. But and also, you but would get a white thing Xbox. Down, flip it, and reverse it. I think is what you're saying. Bop it, flip it. <laughs> <Remember those? laughs> yeah. Do you know that the original Bop it is like a collector's item now? Like really? they're like eighty bucks on Amazon. And someone collects them. I want one. Why? Because it was a fun game. I don't want to collect Said it. Said no one. <gasps> what? Did you like the I original like Bop it? Yeah, it was, it was fun. all right. Why doesn't it still exist? They do. It's just got more shit on it, and I want the oh, okay. original it's OG like, three. It's like text it. Yeah, do it exactly. Taxes. <laughs> Instagram Share it. it. Yeah, you're like, oh, cool. like it. Now hug it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> um, mm, make it. So I guess that's somewhat games related. It is. It's, it's a totally. game. We're starting we should have a board that's games an analog related game. patch. We should. Yeah. Except we have to call it something else. The board. No, because no. everyone, <laughs> because everyone talk about how boring it is uh, all the time no. and how bored they are. Should we do it like the popper, like the little thing in trouble? Yeah, like yeah. The little dice popper. <laughs> Those things were great because you know, they guaranteed. Younger siblings would not lose the dice. It's like yeah. the dice did not escape. It's like you knew exactly where they were. I like that that was your, like, that's why you liked it. I liked it because it was like, punka, punka, no, punka. No. I would always play with it. But you're Young, like, oh, somebody ruined dice Somebody for you. loses dice all the time. There was a sad story somewhere yeah, behind that. somewhere. It's like, oh, I want to play, but we have no dice. <laughs> At least you have six-sided dice, which are somewhat common, you, easy Gus, to find. Gus, I got to say this. You strike me as the sort of man that never was without dice. <laughs> I had a lot of dice. I bet you did. Yeah, I, yeah. I, Every every flavor of dice. Oh, do you have like little mini dice? I had mini dice. Oh, yes. I had giant dice. Hundred sided die. A friend who had a, like a whole chest of them, and I would obnoxiously roll them all at once. <laughs> that was the best. That's how you find them. That's how you're like, which ones of these are the best that I'm going to yeah. use today? Whichever ones landed on top. How did yeah, you pick? Yeah, which ones? Yeah, got whichever a crit. ones roll. Yeah, see? <laughs> she knows what she's what talking up, about. Up, 20, 20, 20, done. Then roll them again. See which of those are the best. Like which was a fluke statistically <laughs> and dice survival. Oh, okay, hold on, I've got to get my chart out now. It's mm. Like you're deciding which ones are weighted. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to buy them. I never, I never did. I should buy some weighted. Weighted dice. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to cheat, but I never did. <laughs> I never got around to it. Uh, anyway, the patch. Yes, video the, patch. Ga- the video games. Um, great week for indie games. Uh, big indie hit, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, yes. came out this week. Yes, oh, it's, so it's excited to see them come out of Steam Greenlight. Really. <laughs> They're, uh, really we got uh, a lot of notoriety this year. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got some positive buzz. Huge sales, but not as big as previous years. Mm-mm. Well, we, we don't know yet, right? We don't have any concrete. We know the pre-orders are down, but we don't have any cro- concrete sales figures pre-order, yet. But pre-orders were way They down. were way down. They were like 70% down. From t- 70% from two years yeah, ago. Yeah, and 40 from last year. Which, granted, when you squeeze out one every year... So it's like kids. It's, uh, the uh, who is it? Activision <laughs> it's Publishing. It's true. It's diminishing returns. <laughs> it's so, not wrong. That's that's actually a fact. They get you. shorter. I, I, Wait, really? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the, there's a quote here. Sorry. Um, Activision <laughs> Publishing CEO Eric Hirschberg actually addressed that report that said that oh, pre-orders okay. were down. Mm-hmm. He said, "We see, this is the quote. Yeah, we see purchase intent well above last year, and we see engagement with the brand and social media channels all being markedly up. So I'm still optimistic." Pre-orders are a good barometer for day one, but I don't re- think they reflect the overall my iPad locked up demand for the product. Did he say something about the analysts? Like he he made some. I felt like he made a more juvenile quote. That he had a more <laughs> juvenile quote than that. Don't buy it and like it. Shut up! Don't so, tell me my game's bad. Well, I mean the thing is like we like they measure purchase intent. I love that that's like oh, yeah. a metric. It's like you and your way to die. You would have been. You right. intended uh-huh. to purchase it. But it didn't. Also, they, they talked about the Well, brand. that's a great example. Look, purchase intent didn't turn didn't, into actual didn't purchase. Right. And they also say that social media channel engagement is markedly up. But I didn't really see 
Call of Duty like Dude. really trending all over the place. Facebook likes are off the charts. <laughs> like a friend of mine was commenting that the Alex from Target hashtag was consistently trending higher than Call well, of Duty Alex Advanced from Warfare. Well, Target trumped everyone that day, right? Right, like, but it's like this non-monetizable <laughs> guy is uh is like beating this multi-billion dollar franchise you're looking at this the wrong way they were number two baby yeah, <laughs> number two. that's Second high place. on the list I, I, think, medal. I think they were actually number seven okay well okay <laughs> top ten <laughs> they're you, up there they're gonna hire you activision's gonna call i can you spin later. this let's it's, go it's like after a movie comes out if they don't hit number one in the box office like number one family movie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one comedy like you start getting the qualifiers movie in indonesia <laughs> i love that <laughs> Which is not to say that Call of Duty sales are terrible. We don't no. know. I'm sure it's still gangbuster. I'm sure there's still mm -hmm. millions of people playing it across many different types of platforms. So I'm, I'm excited lot. to hear their ship numbers because mm. they, they love to tout they're shipped over actual bot. Right. Mm. Um, and, of course, the inevitable bitching about resolutions mm -hmm. and, uh, and frame rates. Apparently, the Xbox One upscales it to 1080. Yeah. But it maintains 60 frames a second. The PS4 runs it natively at 1080, but its frame rate can dip down to sometimes around 40. I saw like a, the the yeah. graphic exactly. that was like, here's Xbox One, PS4, PC. PS4 and PC it looked almost the same. Don't kill me, Master Race. But they looked almost the same. Like it's getting to a point now where I'm like, yeah, that looks uh, well. That one looks okay. It's like spot the differences, but I'm like, they all look nice. Yeah, and... but you're spotting like 40 to 60 a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, you wouldn't you wouldn't see a difference there because those are the same engine basically, the yeah. PC to PS4. It's not going to look better in most cases on the PC just because unless they developed specifically for that, they didn't make higher resolution assets just for the PC. Mm -hmm. It's the same stuff. Yeah, and I didn't really see like even on the PS4 when it dipped a little bit, it mm -hmm. wasn't anything no. that I, I would be like upset and disgusted. It didn't dip at. below thirty. That's really kind right. of the the key. As long as it doesn't get below that threshold, then you're not getting any stutter. Yeah, I think forty was like the lowest I saw mm -hmm. it hit. Can we talk about Kevin Spacey? Because he looks <laughs> amazing. <laughs> well, okay. He looks amazing from the like the eyebrow to the chin. It's But the this is you know this is the problem when you have a, a recognizable actor like mm -hmm. that. I mean, everyone knows what Kevin Spacey looks like when he's acting if you've seen any of his movies. And then you put him in that. It's like we want to capture exactly Kevin Spacey. But we kind of want it to look like his forehead's been botoxed. Ah. I mean, just like everything above the brows doesn't move. That's yeah. true, I That's guess. I and he looks a little shiny. But other than that, like, I was surprised. And I know it was, like, pre-rendered footage. It wasn't like we were seeing him, you know, moving around in game or anything. But Some of it was in game. looked amazing. Like, I was, oh, my God, it's the future. I can't wait for, like, the Gary's Mod version of Kevin Spacey running around <laughs> doing zany <laughs> things. You need me. Yeah. You need um, me. But it's like, I think I've talked about this before where I don't understand why developers who hire actors to do voice parts why they then have to make a clone of that actor in the game it's like you can make this person look like any character in the world we don't have to see kevin spacey playing this character we can have kevin spacey voicing this character but it can look like anything in the world no make it look like kevin spacey and then I you kinda like it. well you run into this uncanny valley problem True. where it's like i know what kevin spacey is supposed to look like and that's not it instead mm -hmm. of oh wow that looks really good for some character for some fictional character i yeah. don't know that's true so. I guess I felt that way about Cortana in the new Halo 2 anniversary trailer. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, I don't know who she's model out, modeled after, so I don't know who she's supposed to look like. And she looks awesome. Mm -hmm. To me, I was like, oh my God, look, she's like a tiny little human. Like, that's like a little <laughs> video of a human. Mm -hmm. I thought it was great. So maybe that's a better idea to put, make it after somebody right. you're not yeah. immediately familiar with. Right, and it could be like, I'm sure that that might be like the performance actress who did sure. all the all the capture. I don't know if the, if Jen Taylor does that too or if she's just a voice. I or, was making a sandwich during works. that part of the documentary where they were talking about <laughs> acting for the face. I just remember them, someone saying, talking about Damn acting it, for Meg. the face. I'm sorry, I was making you're Rubens. Sacrificing, you're sacrificing your <laughs> hunger, your body. You need to give that up. <laughs> the just art. for me. <laughs> we, uh, speaking of which, Ryan and I played a little bit. We streamed a little we bit did. of uh, Halo 2 anniversary yesterday. We streamed uh, the Gravemind level on... Uh, on the Rooster Teeth Twitch channel. It, and now in, in Halo 2 Anniversary, we discovered together that you can toggle between the original and new engine in cinematics as well. Like in Halo Anniversary, you could only watch the new cinematics. You couldn't see the old ones. Now on the fly, you can see the difference between both. Do you like click back and forth and be like, shit, awesome, shit, awesome, yeah. shit, awesome. Well, they completely recammed it too. So you're not even, it's not like a one-to-one -one shot for shot mm. thing where it's a completely redone cinematic, but it will still flip on the fly. But yeah, it's... Oh man, I don't know why you'd go back after seeing the new ones. It's really interesting to see like 
the the, the stark difference between the two. It's yeah. it's really night and day. We're actually rewatching the scene. Um, it's like a it's Master Chief jumping out, and this it's there's a huge explosion behind him, and it's like all purple and white and amazing. It have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> purple, you say? Yeah. But then in the when you watch, it, I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. And then we watch the original, and it's just like a like almost like a pixel of light coming toward him. <laughs> and we're like, oh wow, it looks really amazing. Now. And he's got a bib on. He's like, wee. <laughs> <laughs> there was a speaking of uh, of cinematics. There was a oh, supposed yeah. leak for a new cutscene uh, out of the Master Chief Collection that was uh, that someone inadvertently streamed on Twitch when they shouldn't have been. Yes. And the funny thing about that video to me is the panic in the person oh, yeah. as they're like trying to figure out how to quit. <laughs> like they, they pause it. I think they try to skip it. Like they pause it and then they kind of like freeze and then they unpause it. Then the best part is they they quit out. Then they ended their stream. They like quit out of the game completely and ended the stream and probably went into the witness protection program. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure that was that was not a good day yeah, for them. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely not. Also, they let it go for a while. Like they were like, oh, cool. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wait, we're streaming. That's right. Which was, uh, and apparently they were the only Master Chief Collection stream at the time. It's not like a popular streamer. Mm -hmm. It was uh, just the only one. So a bunch of people who don't even normally watch him were tuned into his stream because he was the only one streaming at the time. Mm -hmm. So. Really screwed up for a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think in the uh, in the leak, people were speculating. At first, people thought it was a, a Halo Five cutscene for yeah. some reason, and they were like, "No, no, no! It's just a it's Halo a Two prologue. anniversary, right?" Yeah. So uh, it's 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 part of the story that's being developed to bridge the new game with the old games. And it uh, it really showcased how much you never want to be in a scene with Keith David to me. Because it's like Mike Coulter and Keith David. And Mike Coulter, I'm sure on his own, is a phenomenal voice actor. But he's he sounds terrible next to keith david he really does he's like cool i'm looking uh looking for the spartan and he's like and then keith david's just like velvet and butter and amazing and then he's you like oh yeah keith cool david son. yeah it's, it's really like you never well, want to be put in that situation keith david has had such a prolific career it's as true. an actor and also as a video game voice actor which i think you know requires its own practice and its own you know time to 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 get good at that so uh, this is the he's, leaked he's scene. Really good. Yeah. Are we re-leaking this? Yeah, we didn't this show this. Is this a double this. leak? We didn't show this on our on the know, so. <laughs> it's already on the internet. What are you going to do? That's true. It's out there. Uh, yeah, and With I, Spanish subtitles. Yeah. <laughs> how convenient. In fuego. Yo quiero. Uh, Master Chief. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping that. I was hoping to get on. El Chief Mejor. <laughs> I was hoping to get on the stream and uh, and uh, stream some more Halo 2 Anniversary today, but I just hadn't got around to it. Maybe yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it later tonight once I'm at home. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That's next week. Call of Duty's this week. Yeah, I've been playing that. I've actually beaten the campaign and now uh, I'm doing a little bit of the co-op stuff. I saw you playing the campaign yesterday and how I was going to yell at you, but you had a headset on. So. How, long, how, long is, how long did it take you to finish the campaign? This is actually a step up from Ghost. It was. Uh, I felt like it was significantly longer. Now, granted, I was doing the whole run through. I did the first run through on Veteran and was trying to get the you know, level specific achievements and pick up all the intel at the same time. So that slowed me down a little bit, but I it's 15 missions uh i'd say you could easily do it. minimum six hours mm -hmm. easily uh if you're playing it on hard but it's not nearly as hard as many of the previous call of duty games even on veteran it's i think i got hung up briefly at one spot and that was it i mean there was not that much challenge to it Hmm. Uh, so it's a it, honestly it was a lot funner I thought than ghosts. It was funner. It was more fun. Funner. It was funner. <laughs> Registered trademark Ryan yeah. Haywood. <laughs> funner. Funner. Funimation. Uh, yeah. No, it it had a, a little bit better story. It was it's it's weird having this sort of pseudo Titanfall-y abilities, but not having it be as fast as as nimble as Titanfall felt. Mm -hmm. And they keep changing them around on you, which is kind of odd. Hmm. So your exosuit has different abilities, and from mission to mission, you'll have different ones. So you'll finally be getting kind of the hang of, all right, I'm going to boost jump. Oh, oh, I can't this mission. I guess oh, I'll that just... sucks. Sonic. Yeah. You think that'd be confusing as a soldier. It's like, <laughs> you know, keep track of what abilities you have at any given day. Uh -huh. Like, can I jump today? No? Okay. <laughs> Let me try. Oh. Huh? oh. <laughs> Did you hold X to pay your respects? I did. Well, you don't have a choice. <laughs> you aren't leaving until you pay your respects. Pay your damn respects. Right You're at now. a funeral. Put your hand on the coffin. Who? It's got little tiny oh, flowers on it, too. that's what your respects are? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's your dead buddy. No, I don't want to touch it. It's more, it's an inner thing, oh. right? You you hold an X, and then you, inside, are having a moment. The sad part is... you know what you just did. The next funeral I go to, that's going to be in my <laughs> fucking head. I'm going to be there like, God damn it, press X to pay respects. 
You gonna bring a controller and just like put it down on the yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it seems really, it seems really cheesy. That was pretty cheesy. Needlessly cheesy. cheesy yeah. It was, yeah. That's well, and going back and trying to clean up some of the level specific achievements, it suffers greatly from the uh, Call of Duty were so cinematic kind of thing, where uh, you just got to wait twenty minutes to get to actual gameplay at the start of every level. Really? Mm-hmm. The first time you do it, it's great because it's like, oh, okay, we're setting it up. All right, we're all gonna load up and go in and do. But when you you're going back to do it again, you're just like, oh man, I just wanna. I can understand I get to the- why game companies want to make cutscenes unskippable, like when they're trying to get a story across. But I feel like almost if the game knows you finished it once, right. you, you should be able, able to skip, skip it, it at that they point. They need yeah. an action mode where you can just hop to the good stuff of the levels. Because after you've seen that, especially if you're replaying it again almost immediately, uh, like if you're going back to do a different skill level or anything, you you got it. I mean, you just watch the story. Uh, it kills the story for you. Like your memory of the story mm-hmm. is going to be tainted by the fact that you had to watch it so many times. Yeah, then you're being subjected to it. Right. Now you can skip the cutscenes uh, with the in between level things that are happening when it's doing the initial load. But once it loads, you know they do a lot of that atmospheric stuff where you're just like, okay, we're walking. So you have to actually, okay, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna hold forward and stay behind this guy as he talks to me. Mm-hmm. That's where I saw you die yesterday. Did I die? <laughs> you were like you were, you were like walking behind somebody and somebody shot you and you kind of like looked around and then you kept walking and then you just died. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna I can't make imagine fun of what you, I was but doing. you had a headset on and I couldn't. Look, don't let that throw you off. Go, just go ahead and yank it off my head and you can mock me at any time. He's That's used totally to it. Fine. He used the word. Great. He used the word funner. He's open for. I did uh, use the word funner. <laughs> he's open for criticism. Hey, if enough of us use it, it's going in Webster's. No, that's how it works now. You are like the selfie. That's what you are. Yeah. See, you're just inventing you. inventing words. Selfie's now in the dictionary, isn't it? It'll be part of the about part of the new bop it. <laughs> funner. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you mean. Look, language is defined by the people that use it. So as long as funner gets used a lot, you're not then making it's in. a new colloquialism. Don't go get it's on happening. your high horse. It didn't start with me. Maybe it's going to finish with me. You. There you go. No one's buying it. I'm the verbal alpha and omega, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like a Jesus fish with the word funner in it. <laughs> uh, now that you mention it, if you go to the Ryan Haywood store right now, there is a <laughs> bumper decal. Funner. Uh, okay, enough Bye. of that. You guess it's not enough. That's enough. Um... I saw an interesting story. Uh, one of the first stories I, I read this morning was the Electronic Frontier Foundation, or the uh, EFF, is petitioning the Library of Congress, the United States Copyright Office, to ease their restrictions on game mods so that mods that allow defunct games to bypass authentication servers would be acceptable. Since, you know, there's some games who have been out for a long time and authentication servers go offline, then there's no way to play them. So they want to make it so that mods that allow you to bypass that check become okay for defunct games. That's yeah. cool. Which seems That's like cool. a no-brainer. Yeah. It seems like, why isn't that already a uh, rule? Well, I mean, because it's well, there's never been a reason necessarily to create that stipulation, I wouldn't think. I mean, it's not like a book suddenly goes unreadable after the author shuts down his server. They could go out of print? It could, but I mean, you can still read it you if you own. can buy it. That's right. true. Yeah, it's like if it went out of print and then just the words were no longer making sense. <laughs> or yeah, it's like, like Algebra got funner. converted to another language. I'm scared. There's like a crowd of people yeah, over there. Yeah, this is weird. Are we being invaded? Before we're you being invade, invade, just know a, that I have macaroni Kyle. and cheese under my chair. Please don't she'll, step she'll on it. She'll tease you. You're not. Majora's Mask 3DS. Just got Confirmed. announced. Do you know, it just got well, announced. Tennis, yeah. Do you know how microphones work? I'm <laughs> 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 just curious. Majora's Mask 3DS. Just got announced. I just love that a group came over. Like, like, there's so many ways to contact people. Only two of them actually came on camera. The other two just wandered off. No, Carrie came and stood in the front. We had to tell somebody. Also, it's mostly, you know, this is an audio podcast, so it's really the mics are the phone. Yeah, they really understand. Those understand even less how the mic works. Majora's Mask, yay! Yay! Thanks, guys. Bye. Discuss. You know, if you want to be on the patch, you can just ask. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. okay. Press X to patch. <laughs> <laughs> I totally stole that from Twitter. <laughs> so, uh-huh. Glammy W, thank you for the uh, <laughs> for the easy joke. Uh, Majora's Mask for the 3DS. Um, it's a port. I'm not really? that excited. There's another Zelda game available on a console it didn't start on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't... Doesn't seem that groundbreaking. I there's a creepypasta story called "If You See Her, Turn Ooh. Off the Game," and it's uh, about Zelda. And now it ruins Zelda for me because I'm afraid I'm gonna this glitch is gonna come find me and kill me. What? She appears in Zelda games and she has no face and red hair and she just stands like this in the middle of towns. No, no, and she kills people. 
What? what? It's great. I will send you both okay, links. I'm okay. sorry. We'll put We're in the link back down. This story up. Wait, wait, there's yes. a, a character that exists creepy in pasta. Zelda games that no, has it, no I face. No, I mean it's, it's a it's a creepy pasta. It's a story. Oh, okay. And it's scary. It's is a that, scary is story. Is that like a cracked or like a what's no. a creepy pasta? No, creepy pasta is just like an is urban that... legend about something scary. Oh, you never you never, you never I don't think I've ever heard that term. Creepy pasta is great. Creepy pasta. Yeah. I just thought that was like a one of those weird off-brand craft macaroni and cheese. You should just get some Photoshop. Like, get your creepy Safe pasta. Brand, creepy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating cheese? You don't know. <laughs> That's the scary part. <laughs> macaroni and question mark. Ooh. A macaroni misspelled. <laughs> 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 it's funner. Macaroni. <laughs> uh, here, let me read this. Oh, yes. I want to remind everyone this episode of The Patch is brought to you by Hulu Plus. The greatest time in TV is the fall. Your favorite TV shows are coming back with new episodes and new shows are premiering. And Hulu Plus is making this fall the best one ever. Uh, right now, Hulu Plus is all the current season episodes of your favorite shows like Sleepy Hollow, Bob's Burgers, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you're not caught up on your shows, you can catch up now on Hulu Plus. You probably watch Hulu on your computer. Hulu Plus is so much more. Hulu Plus lets you watch every episode of shows like South Park, Family Guy, and more. Hulu Plus works on your computer, smart TV, Roku, Apple TV, Xbox, Wii, PlayStation, pretty much any streaming device you already own. For only seven ninety nine, for only seven ninety nine a month, watch your fall shows anytime, anywhere. Uh, you get a two week free trial when you sign up using our code, which is HuluPlus.com slash patch. Two weeks is better than the one week they normally give. So make sure you go to HuluPlus.com slash patch, get the extra free week, and they know that we sent you HuluPlus.com slash patch for your two week free trial. This week's episode of Bob's Burgers was kind of creepy pasta ish. Ooh, uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited. Tina, they discover that there's a ghost in the basement of the restaurant, uh, the ghost of a 13 year old boy, and it becomes Tina's boyfriend. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, her ghost Poor boyfriend. Normally Tina. she has zombie boyfriends, so this is the exciting new twist. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. Anyway, Different flavor of undead. Yes. Um, so Sony has rolled out the 2.0.1 firmware for the PS4. I don't know if I'd say rolled so much as like. Eagerly thrust out, <laughs> yeah. which, which fixes the rest issue that a lot of people were having with the PS4. Among, and I, that's the biggest issue I know of, but apparently there were more because I know that the Evolved Big Alpha right. was delayed by a couple of days for the PS4 and they had to extend it as right. a result of that. Uh, so I don't know what other shenanigans were going on behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, I don't know what happened to, that caused the hiccup. They just said it was the firmware update. And then the best part was they were like, hey, by the way, still playable on Xbox One and PC. Play a little, like, stab <laughs> yeah. the PS4 to shanked him on the way out. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a little bizarre. Yeah. Well, like, I, I mean, wouldn't you be mad? I mean, this is your, you've had this plan for a long time. And then Sony's like, well, ah, fuck it. We don't really need a QA team. Let's just push this out I'm while. sure it wasn't intentional. Sony doesn't want to ship out a, a bad uh, no, 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 firmware that causes problems. they pushed it out there. How could you not notice that that was an issue? I don't know. I personally never had the issue. Granted, I'm dealing right now with the same thing on Xbox One, where anytime, uh, about 60% of the time, if I hold down the jewel button to turn off the system, uh, it doesn't move the selector to the overlay. Oh, really? Yeah, it's still in the back. Weird. Weird. I can't turn it off. It's awesome. Also, I, I think love you it. called it the jewel because I called it that, and people always make fun of me. What's what the else jewel? Do you call it's a jewel. It. Thank so you. That gives you a problem, so what do you have to do? This? Yeah. <laughs> your Xbox is like right in front of you at well, your desk. At my desk. No, it happens at home too. Oh, like yeah. I'm on the couch. Yeah, okay. No, the so I have to hold it down again, it goes away, and then do it again, and then it works. Oh, I didn't press it so That's many tedious. times. What? No, Why I, didn't it work I'm right? on your side because uh, we have it set up so that the Xbox, well, the Kinect will turn off the TV and our sound bar mm -hmm. and everything at the same time. But I had to power cycle it recently, and it screws all that up. Like it, it, dis, mm -hmm. like, it detaches itself and now connects off, and I'm like yelling yeah. at it to do stuff, and it's not doing anything. I just set it all up again and that's really lame yeah my and also wouldn't play fast and furious 3 tokyo drift last night and i was really i had to put it into my ps3 <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had, I had a, a weird problem, problem with the blu-ray player on my xbox one over the weekend where i put a disc in and it just didn't recognize it i ejected it put it in again it didn't recognize it i ejected it, it was a brand new disc put it in again and it was like oh yeah blu-ray cool <laughs> my, it launched it and it was like it was like the xbox one got into tokyo drift and was like ah fuck this movie and like made it all like pixely and weird <laughs> like, and it's, what is i've taken such good care of that disc so that i put it in and it played fine in my ps3 yeah that's so Digital yeah. <laughs> Xbox. They need also another group that needs to really get some QA people. Yeah. What's wrong thing. with that? I guess uh, uh, besides well, all the stuff we okay. just mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I got a list for you. That not only that, but I had this thing at home where uh, the whenever I'd power it back up from sleep, the screensaver was on and it wouldn't turn off. Oh, I had that over the weekend also. That yeah. went away though. Did yours go away? Nope. I had to eventually unplug it and plug it back oh, in. Oh, that's what I did face. too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then fucking game installs take three hours. Do they? Okay. This is the only. I went online because I was like, this can't be the best it can do because uh, let's say call of duty 
Uh, it was at 25% after being in my home Xbox for two and a half hours. Hmm. It was a physical disc? It was a physical disc. Huh. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. If you power cycle the Xbox, hard reset it, disconnect it from Xbox Live, then it will install in a more reasonable, maybe about an hour. Good lord. And well, then when you plug it back in, then it does an update that was 250 megs. Why are you still using discs? Well, this is what well, we have to Well, but the digital get. download yeah. of Call of Duty had a lot more problems. Did it? Yes. Uh -huh. People were getting stuck at 1% and 2%, and Microsoft came out and said, uh, you have to, if you because they were trying to pre-install it, you have to delete your pre-install file and re-download it. And then mm -hmm. PS4 had the same problem. Interesting. Yeah. Which, actually, when we tried to do the disk install here on mine and Ray's machine, it just wouldn't start. It <sighs> just went to queued, installing, queued, installing. I had to actually go to storage, delete it, even though there was nothing installed yet, and then restart it, and then it worked. It's like, why? Why? This is your your system is designed to play games. Maybe you should let us install them. <laughs> it's just a you thought. Play. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's like step one before you can play a game right. is install. Whatever. They'll Which fix is it sooner or later, I hope, but. You would hope so. Yeah, I would hope. Play I games. do hope. I, I have not. Maybe I'm crossing vain. my fingers, knocking on this fake wood that we have. Yeah. I've not had any trouble installing or There's playing a game. Ninety nine percent wood product in here. It's been wood. It's pressed. <laughs> it's wood. It was all. Yeah. It's from thousands of trees mashed together. Yeah. Um, so I saw. Uh, I, I'm, we were joking about Call of Duty being an indie game earlier, but I saw an actual indie game that's not on Steam Greenlight yet that I'm actually kind of excited about. It's called Fly in the House. Oh. Where. You the the trailer's really funny. It's kind of a parody of Gone Home, where it's like it's got some text overlays, like you return home from your multi-year trip, and all the memories come floating back to you. It's like, what the hell is that noise? And you see like a little fly running around. <laughs> so the whole point is you trash your house, throwing stuff, trying to kill a fly that's flying around. It reminds me of the cat game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very similar. Uh, but it's just like uh, it's it's it also reminds me of like uh, Goat Simulator. It's mm. just like just an excuse to go around and cause mayhem and break stuff. Uh, it's probably going to be a super bargain game, I imagine, when it comes out. <laughs> it doesn't look like it has the uh, the best graphics or the most uh, thorough story. You can see the fly was outlined in yellow. I don't know why he's breaking the toilet. There's no fly, obviously, in that <laughs> room. He's just <laughs> angry about something. I saw um, an article today for This War of Mine, which is another indie game, and it looked really, really cool. I haven't seen that it's, one yet. Yeah, it, it, it seems really cool. Check it out. The w this War of Mine? This War of Mine. Is it an advanced war? No. <laughs> Just regular war. Super regular Ordinary war. Ordinary war. It's very gritty, apparently. Um, and uh, So one of the things we wanted to talk about last week, but we didn't really get a chance to because we didn't finish our research in time, was that Oculus movie. Oh, yeah, Zero, Zero Point. Point. Mm. Uh, and I guess it's still relevant. It's obviously still relevant, but uh, Oculus, just this past, just this week, either yesterday or the day before, said that their consumer product is months away, not years. They said many months. So I said it's still a, a ways to get there. They think that the, the big <laughs> hang-up they said was the actual um, interaction with the game. They said the keyboard and mouse was too primitive, or keyboard and mouse was not sufficient, and gesture controls were still too primitive and not far enough along. And well, then Brendan so Arib said, the CEO of Oculus said, um, they were like, okay, great, when will it be on shelves? And he said, look, we set the bar really high, we don't want it to be four or five years. That's not <laughs> months, Brendan! That's 48 to 60 months. No! I said it in the, <laughs> the video video I did. Don't do that creepy thing parents do where they're like, he's 47 months! Uh, and then the other thing that he kind of, they said that I thought was kind of strange was he was kind of trying to get other VR manufacturers yeah. to not go to the market. I think he's like, well, I think other VR manufacturers should remember, you know, to put out a quality product and not rush to market just to beat us. Yeah, it was like, please, <laughs> we're we're encouraging other big companies not to rush to the market. And exactly what I said in my news story was like, until they put one out, then free game. You guys yeah. go for it. Yeah, but even he mentioned said the big elephant in the room is you know motion sickness and uh, and like these nagging issues that uh, people have with headsets. And when we mm -hmm. uh, looked at Zero Point, you know, I, I I watched the the demo, which is what like three minutes long. Yeah, and I got super sick. I I had a hard time getting through that. And I think the full movie is only like twelve minutes long. Twelve, fourteen, something like that. Yeah, I've, we did buy it and I've I've played through or watched the whole thing. Ooh, they should not be charging what they're charging for that. Oh. They really shouldn't. What? So it's an interesting tech demo. I mean, it's a lot of video captured in 360. Uh, and that part of it's neat. You can look around. Uh, but behind it is just like this short movie of 12 people saying the same thing over and over. Like, you know what? Virtual reality is really scary. What if people like that better than real reality? 
<laughs> yeah, what if? Oh, hmm. Got me thinking. And then that card, yeah, questions. Like, no one that hadn't occurred to anybody. Maybe let's make a little short movie and throw that up on Steam for fourteen dollars regularly priced. Currently priced at what? 11? No, I think the reg the regular price has hit. Oh, it's going back I up think to fourteen as of this okay. Monday. Yeah. So fourteen bucks for fourteen minutes of okay. There's some footage. It's not even all three sixty. Some of it is just a single cam shot uh, of, of an interview with various people, and then some of it is some footage from a military training simulation. Which is still more or less 360, but it's got a pretty bad seam around the back. So if you turn all the way around, you just get like a really hard line. Um, so it shouldn't be priced. Yeah, I, I found myself it's constantly trying to see the camera or the shadow of the camera. Like, mm -hmm. how do they do this? Like looking for the tripod or, <laughs> or being like, oh, there it yeah. is. You know, it, 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 I found that a little striking. When I went through the demo like i missed a whole character talking to me because i'm like i was just looking in the wrong direction mm -hmm. and then ryan <laughs> did was like, it not play in your ears at you, did not have, you, did you didn't have headset on, on. Oh. and ryan was like there's someone behind you talking he was like what <laughs> they turned around like oh yeah there Whoa, she is excuse me yeah <laughs> which so, is actually pretty creepy in the real thing because she just walks up behind you and is like come with me and you're like the f okay yeah i can't move i'm rooted Shit's to about this to get spot funner. This, uh, yeah <laughs> we're gonna have some funner time on this beach because it was a lady on the beach. Oh, she was on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Was that? Yeah, that was. It was weird. Anyway, Gus so. was just looking at the water. Ooh. Yeah. Water. <laughs> no, I think in that one I could see the uh, the shadow of the tripod, and I yeah. was staring at that. <laughs> the most obvious time is you're yeah, at one point you're in a field full of like buffalo or giant cows of some variety. <laughs> And one of them walks right up to the camera, and then the shadow is just, like, right on its face. Uh. Yeah, like, it does a thing where it, like, walks up and looks at him, and, like, kind of <laughs> smells it st straight on, and then, like, walks on. I am a camera. I can see my shadow. Yeah. I love the idea of just a virtual reality game where things come up and smell your face <laughs> and walk away. And the worst part is because it's a uh, camera, because it's live-action video, not a, a rendered environment, normally you can like back your face up you can't it's just like mm. yeah, so now the next Cow version of the oculus will have like uh like blowers on it <laughs> you can simulate cows breathing oh. on you future is later uh, 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 i love this concept <laughs> i also like the idea of maybe like a puppy simulation where you could have like little liquors lick, on lick. Your face. <laughs> gross little liquors that's even worse uh, it's got like a, you have to moisten the thing before you put it on it's got a little reservoir of puppy you got, spit you, yeah you gotta buy some black market dog saliva it's like the real stuff is too expensive <laughs> Mad Cat's dog saliva. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that first party dog saliva is great, but it's way too expensive. Give me the Mad Cat stuff. One hundred percent non-synthetic, squeezed fresh puppy saliva. Mmm, good. Gross. Uh, so yeah, too expensive. Don't buy it. There's, yeah, there's no way to segue off of that. No. <laughs> You're welcome, future. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna move on. Yes. So uh, the in a not surprising move, Rockstar has announced that GTA Five will have a first-person mode. Uh, on PC and next or current gen consoles, uh, it's which, so pretty. Yeah, I, I never really saw the appeal of playing first person, uh, but watching the trailer, it actually made it seem really fun. And if I'm gonna, you know, I figured I'm gonna go back and replay the game anyway. This may be like a fresh enough way to approach it to where right. it makes it fun to to redo the campaign. I mean, we're so excited about it just from a multiplayer standpoint because, uh, well, not only can you actually create game types where you're required to be in that perspective, but uh, our heist series, which we'd always kind of thought about doing like a remaster to try and get it right. Mm -hmm. That just gives me a whole other reason why I would want to do that Absolutely. because it totally changes the experience if you're looking yeah. at it in first person. That's all I kept thinking about was with the heist series, like when one of you dies and goes silent, being able to see uh -huh. like in first person how dumb your the, death ah, is. And then yeah. just, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought of when I saw that trailer. Uh, yeah. Staring at the ground at a pool of blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it, it looks really fun. And they talked about how they don't think they could have implemented it in the last generation like they were just so rushed trying to get the game done and that you know the amount of work it takes to add the extra animations that look correct from the first person perspective instead of you know from a detached third person and it's like all these little things that i never think about like making sure that the gun is being held at a proper height to mm -hmm. see and that the animations are fluid enough. or even being able to just look down scope which they showed at one point where he right. actually mm -hmm. shoulders the weapon uh yeah i mean there's that's a lot of other changes in addition to that too where there's going to be a lot more foliage it just looks a lot prettier there's the comparison vision video that's up uh that takes the ps3 versus ps4 and just the level of detail even specularity on cars it makes it look a lot more like almost a forza level does it make car. it look spectacular 
you could have just said spectacular and been fine. No, because then it wouldn't come through. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dash when he's saying yeah. it verbally. I just like when they did the PS3 to PS4 thing, like mm -hmm. a bunch of people just popped up in the, they're like, hey, yeah, we added some more people. Like they just sprinkled <laughs> them in. It's like a guy walking and then suddenly there's a dude right uh -huh. behind him. Or deer. Like, ah, wildlife. Because that's one of the big things they're, they're showing too is that now there's wildlife and multiplayer, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we will hunt at some point. More traffic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but also in, in also in GTA related news, I guess people have figured out that they think the 360 port of San Andreas is a port of the Android version of uh, oh, San Andreas. That's um, interesting. Yeah, so they said that there's a, a lot of weird limitations as a result of it, including the fact that the game's locked at 30 frames per second, which isn't that big a deal on a 360, I don't think, because it's older hardware anyway. But it's weird to me that they would take that game port it to Android, and then report it to a console. But it makes sense as to why there wasn't a big push about it, and there wasn't like a lot of hype leading up to it. I'm sure it was just like a, a low-level fun project they did on the side. Yeah, Gavin was playing it and said it was still super buggy. Like, he was surprised by how many bugs he kept finding while he was playing it. Mm -hmm. So not a lot of effort went into yeah, porting no, it. it doesn't seem like <laughs> it was. It's really cheap, isn't it? Like, four bucks or something? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever finished San Andreas... I know I played the shit out of it. Maybe I, I say it's an excuse to go back and play it. I'm already too far behind in way too many other games. There's no way I'm, I'm getting <laughs> back there. Happen. It's not a good month for that mindset. Yeah, I'm no. not going back ten years <laughs> into the past. I've already got way too. I still haven't finished Borderlands the pre sequel, which they just announced the fifth playable character for. See that segue? Uh, nice, Handsome Jack. Yes. Or is it more appropriately Handsome Jack's doppelganger? Uh, yeah, doppelganger. The Handsome Jack doppelganger pack. Uh, so that'll be that'll be coming out here pretty soon. I really like. The feel of Borderlands pre sequel. In fact, I played some of it uh, on the um, Extra Life charity stream that we did. Mm -hmm. But it's just hard to play that game when you can't hear it. And so I just kind of like was just yeah. just fucking around in the game. It's really fun. I think that the new mechanic with oxygen and the jetpacking really have played well to that game. And uh, I look forward to catching up to it at some point. Yes. I'm just not there right now. This month is going to be all Master Chief Collection and all Assassin's Creed. And mm. I haven't even thought mm. about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's two of them coming out. Uh, <laughs> yep. I have to get into that. Are you a completionist with Assassin's Creed? No, God, no. Okay. That, I'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get the last gen? Maybe version? not. I might not. I'm, 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 I'm trying to wean myself off of 360 and PS3 titles. In fact, I've taken my those consoles, and they're not in my, like, my home theater setup. They're That's at, what like, I did. They're at the smaller TV somewhere else. It's just like, <laughs> oh, I've got to go move over there. I had to. Like, that's. I took my. Uh, I took my PS3 is for the bedroom now. For like, for the bedroom. For the bedroom. <laughs> it's for, it's hey, a Netflix machine. It's got the peripherals. <laughs> it's where I watch Fast and Furious when the Xbox One. Doesn't <laughs> do it. And uh, but my 360 because that's the only thing I play on it now with, is The Walking Dead. Uh, I, it's unplugged, sitting next to my my. Oh. I know it's just sitting like completely Doesn't unplugged. Doesn't even have power. And, eh, it's like, like we had years of fun, didn't we? I know. I'm like <laughs> season two's over. When season three comes out, I'll come back. But no, those will probably be debuting on current gen consoles. So they've already ported seasons one and well, two. But I want my all my saves. Mm, so there's no, I, there's no, no copy for I, that. I would imagine they they've got to be at work at that. If Rockstar can do it, with uh, oh, that's true. Well, Rockstar sure is all server it. side though. Like all your character stuff is oh, right. on the it's Rockstar yeah. servers. The GTA and mine's online. on my hard drive because I don't trust the cloud. They did it with Minecraft. Yeah, though. what they might you could, do, you could move their Minecraft up to the cloud. Yeah, is make like a, a Telltale account or something, and yeah. then like uh -huh. it syncs your I data and then that. it pulls down. Don't uh, tell my 360. I have to like earmuff my 360. <laughs> well, I mean, they've already sort of got a pathway for it, just the same way Minecraft does, where it just goes up through. I think it's just going through the Xbox cloud save system, mm -hmm. and then it pulls it down and translates it. Yeah, I'm sure they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. There's probably got to be a comparable version for the PlayStation Network as well, going from three to four. Mm. But not as much experience with that, unfortunately, <laughs> so I can't say. But speaking of Telltale, they are adamant. Game of Thrones will start coming out before the end of the year. And in fact, uh, someone let it slip uh, that the Game of Thrones Telltale game is going to have five playable family members. Mm. Uh, it was uh, Steve Allison, Telltale Senior Vice President of Marketing. Marketing. Well, so he didn't let it slip. He released it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he he said, runs marketing. He said, in Game of Thrones, we're taking that multi-protagonist design even further with five playable characters from the same family whose choices affect everyone in the family, and that adds a whole new layer to things that we're really excited about. Is that like, is it going to be like 400 days then? I don't know. You know? But that was five playable characers. Mm -hmm. But I, it makes me almost wonder if, from the start, 
you can pick from five characters and then mm. you have different experiences as you play through. Yeah, I don't know. If you can switch, like can you hop body to body? Right. Whenever you have one of those situations and where you've got five characters like that, though, you uh, I kind of don't like it because generally what you get is a much shorter experience mm -hmm. with that character. And they want you to either like they'll continue mm -hmm. on with the next one or they want you to go back and play somebody else. Right. Which is I, in many ways worse. Like I don't want to do the same thing again with this. Oh, now I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see his I face see. instead of my own this time. You too had difficult choices to face. <laughs> well, one of the other things he also said uh, was that they are on. The quote is, we are on track to launch both premiere episodes of Tales from the Borderlands and Game of Thrones before the end of 2014. So they, I don't think they had said that but previously about Tales from the Borderlands. And, you know, Sony is having that um, PlayStation Experience event in Vegas at the beginning of December. And today they released a list of games and game companies who will be showing off uh, games there. Here we have them. Ooh. And Tales from the Borderlands and the uh, Game of Thrones Telltale game are both listed as being playable at that event. Wow. Which I believe is December 6th and 7th in uh, in Las Vegas. They had a big Tales from the, from the Borderlands push um, earlier this year. Yeah, like South this by summer. Southwest. They had a, a panel here in Austin at the Games Expo uh, talking about that. That's the kind of game, though, you wouldn't think oh, that the Halo. engine... Yeah, what was that Halo? It was, it was the beginning of that Halo thing. Uh, that the engine... I mean, the engine's probably done, so they easily could have the first several chapters yeah. ready to go. I mean, it's a lot of story. I guess you have to flesh out, and I feel like mm -hmm. that engine needs work. Oh, really? <laughs> um, I feel like it's great. It tells a lot mm -hmm. of great stories. The loading time is ridiculously oh, it long. Is. Uh, sometimes you encounter, like, if you choose your wrong storage device, there's no way to change it in the game. You have to quit the game and then relaunch it. It's like a lot of little nagging things, like even loading the title screen, like, it starts playing the music, it's all atmospheric, <laughs> and then it like stops because it's loading, yep. <laughs> and then the music starts like, come on, just let's make the experience a little more immersive, yeah. a little smoother. Like, I feel like these are things that they should be ironing out at this point. Yes, and also the invisible walls that they put down in yeah. The Walking Dead are <laughs> so ridiculous. Like, Clem will walk and they'll be like, ee. Like, nah, but seriously, them. you don't want to go over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where losers go. Put put a box there. <laughs> like, put something there so I know I'm not like, oh, da -da, oh. Okay. But which do you feel more insulted by? Like, just an invisible wall or like a really low barricade that you know you could easily step over if you were here? An invisible wall. Yeah. That's okay. That's invisible wall is way worse. Like, yes. Man, I could go over there, but oh, look at this tiny fence. That doesn't bother you more? <laughs> no, because it's like, ah, oh, they took the time to put this tiny fence here instead of this really shitty invisible wall. Yeah, that it's like, running my into. character doesn't jump ever, no. so this makes yes. sense. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they, they, at this um, PlayStation experience, they said that um, playable games include Battlefield. I'm not going to sit list the whole yeah. thing. Battlefield Hardline, um, Bloodborne. The Destiny expansion, Game of Thrones. Oh, let's Gr not forget Dragon Ball Xenoverse. <laughs> Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Don't uh, Ball. Grim Fandango, uh, Tales from the Borderlands, Tearaway Unfolded, The Order 1886. So some some pretty good. The pretty Tomorrow big, Children, which looks so big. weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar so with that one. Which weird. one's that one? It's the like it had like the communist music and it was like the little. The little kids that are like have little pickaxes. Oh right, right, I remember like that. Like the weirdest trailer. I don't. I have no idea what the game is about. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the children of tomorrow and how they're screwed. Yeah, <laughs> and communism somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let me get this uh, oh, this other thing here. Uh, I want to remind everyone: this episode of the patch is also brought to you by Nature Box. Two words, people: free snacks. I'm going to give you the chance to get free snacks. So drop the candy bar, drop the potato chips. They're not good for you. Do what I do: get delicious, <laughs> wholesome snacks at NatureBox.com. NatureBox gives me hundreds of snacks, and I mean delicious snacks that you don't. I don't feel guilty about eating them because they're better for me. They got zero artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, zero grams trans fats, and no high fructose corn syrup. You'll even find snacks with no added sugar and without gluten ingredients. So in the afternoon slump, when I'm hungry and irritable, here's what I do: grab peanut butter nom noms from NatureBox, or baked sweet potato fries, or dark cocoa almonds. So good and so much better for you than other snack options out there. Now I want to give you the chance to try NatureBox for free with a trial box featuring five of their most popular snacks. Free snacks. To start your free trial, go to naturebox.com slash the patch. Stay full, stay strong. Go to naturebox.com slash the patch. Get a free trial brock, a free trial brox or box of delicious snacks. I saw uh, when we were doing the uh, Extra Life live stream that Daniel had the uh, the the free trial box with was him. Was he snacking in. furiously? He was snacking. In fact, when <laughs> the bar Burton does the uh, go the fuck to sleep uh -huh. read, I think you can see one of Daniel's bags on. <laughs> 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 Nature like, box is like yeah. It's like <laughs> excellent. Just like just happened to be in the shot. By the way, if uh, for those of you listening, if you hear Meg go, <laughs> oh yes, every time uh, he starts <laughs> to do an ad read, 
It's because she dives into some macaroni and cheese that she's got hidden behind there. I'm not macaroni and cheese. I'm seven. Especially if you hear like. <laughs> Girl, mm, macaroni. It's macaroni and cheese. You were a little too excited about that. I know. Every time he's like, when we read this, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, By the way, uh, lazy man pro tip. A lot of times you have those situations where you don't can't change your storage, if you just sign out of your profile and sign back in, you get to reselect it. Oh, really? Now, sometimes that's not faster. But. Yeah, yeah, that, that can take a while, too. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw it, but I, I saw that uh, at PAX Australia, Star Citizen showed off their first-person fighting module, uh, or the FPS module, where they uh, went through, mm -hmm. and they had a bunch of guys on stage acting super tactical, <laughs> uh, storming a, uh, a space station, engaging in fights. Uh, and it seemed, you know, th I thought that, honestly, I thought their, their talking and their mm -hmm. pseudo-military slang was a little over the top. Go, go, go! Yeah, stack up on me, let's move from a rolling T to a, 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 to a stack <laughs> formation. It's like, okay, guys, we can. Computer, down. Computer down. blue! Like, you know, Computer no, blue! No one's going to be talking like this when you're playing the game. Just be a little more natural. Do you remember in the Rainbow Six games, you got to say Zulu? Was like, yeah. it, that was like, that was the most military I've ever been in my life. <laughs> but, uh, and it, it's all, you know, I mean, it all looks pretty. I don't think it's anything necessarily super revolutionary. Oh, it looks kind of chunky. At the end, they movement uh, wise. Yeah, at the end, well, it's obviously well, this guy's I mean, like creeping pre alpha. <laughs> but yeah. at the end, they showcased uh, a battle in a, in the same area uh -huh. with the gravity turned off. Mm. So I guess that's an option for uh, if that uh, sounds like it's gonna make me vomit. An area loser, and they're just floating all over the place, and it it looked really fun. The one gripe I had is it looked like when people shot weapons, it didn't propel them backwards. Oh. Mm. Like they were still like kind of drifting forwards. Well, like, oh. Guys, Ender's game, come on. He they have us. linear compensators, Gus. I mean, really. <laughs> but the coolest part was like at first, you know, the gravity's on, and so everything's normal, mm -hmm. and then they say, "Oh, are we losing gravity?" And then you see every single loose thing in the level just slowly start that's drifting cool. up. That's cool. It's like, what the fuck? That was absolutely crazy. That's really cool. So that does sound like it's going to make me vomit. Though. Yeah, and there was just shit <laughs> everywhere. And it's, it's a game that's going to support Oculus, Oculus. too. Oh. So it yeah. definitely will make you vomit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it Oculus feel like... should be... Are, if somebody is smart mm -hmm. at Oculus, they will partner with, like, Dramamine or Bonding <laughs> or something, and they will package that shit to get, like, a, a sticker you can put behind your ear before you start the game. Mark my words, marketing. It comes that with is like a, a head injector. Idea. Like it just shoots out of the visor right into your eyeball. It, 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 it's dispensed with the puppy, the artificial yeah. puppy tongue. <laughs> you just get a soft lick. Getting a little nauseous. Turn my liquors on. <laughs> liquors activating in a rolling T formation. <laughs> Copy that. Everybody look on me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does it, I mean, does it feel like at a certain point, though, they're just like rolling in money like, yeah, why not first person too? Sure, let's throw that in there. Oh, you want uh, a driving portion? Why not? You're flying already. Let's drive, too. Right. It's driving's just like flying, but on two dimensions. You know what? Let's add some RTS in there. You feel like building a base? Yeah, why not? We've got <laughs> billions of dollars. It's like, or it's like the game that has everything. And you pick, like, what little type of game you like. like oh, that's <laughs> fantasy life. That's what <laughs> fantasy life is. You want to be a cook? You want to be a fisherman? You can do it in fantasy life. Well, in this case, you'd have to be a space cook or a space yes. fisherman. Okay, that's fine. In yeah. zero gravity. Well, Those ingredients five. are everywhere. Level five, come up with space fantasy <laughs> life and beat them to the punch. Um, that, that, I'm, gonna, I'm on a tangent now. I saw a video of a goldfish in water in zero G the other day. And it's like the it's like a globule of water and the goldfish <laughs> is like swimming and like trying to get out of the globule no! and, and it can't break the surface tension oh interesting then eventually it does and it's just kind of like <laughs> no! what have i done <laughs> i made a huge mistake <laughs> but it's weird to see like that surface tension holding it back yeah, in. yeah that's cool it was it was really awesome anyway and in other sad news like oh. goldfish uh um, like dying goldfish don gate has announced they're shutting down in uh 90 days don gate was the ea moba that they've been i think it's been in beta for like a year and a half now um it was a fun game. I played it. Uh, I've played it a couple times at PAX, and it seemed fun. Oh, so you were the one. That, I, that, it seemed like there was a fair number of people playing, but I guess it just never got traction. I guess you know the MOBA space is hard to break into. And, wow, uh, I mean, it's so hard to push League of Legends out of the way. Even with, I mean, Smite has been doing okay for itself, but League of Legends is still just yeah. dominant. And this and was it's free. That yeah, it's crazy. To well, me. both of them are. Yeah, Smite and League of Legends, but. When they, a, yeah, they, and they say with Dawngate specifically that anybody who had spent money in the game just going to get their money refunded. Oh, since wow. the game's going to, which I thought was That's really amazing. nice. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's going away. So sad day for Dawngate. It was it was it was fun. It had two lanes instead of three. Ooh. Uh, mm. but, uh, Beginners MOBA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you was one of them the jungle? 
No. <laughs> you mentioned uh, Smite. I guess they're uh, they're getting closer to their Xbox One release. Um, God, I just had it on. Here. Oh yeah, that's right. It was one. Of, it was one of the things I want to talk about. I don't have it in front of me, but I I read that. It, I think I want to say that it's going to come out in uh, beta in the spring. Yeah, it's by, Smite's right. going to enter beta on the Xbox One early next year. So early 2015. I didn't know it was coming to console all, and it was one of the reasons I had so much fun playing um, for the tournament that I, I just bought a new gaming laptop. And I'm like, no, oh. Smite, don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I need to feel like I didn't make a stupid purchase. <laughs> well, I like it because um, my, you know, I, I always bitch about this, like how I don't want to get off my couch to play a game. Mm-hmm. And it's a lot easier for me to play on a console hooked up to my TV as opposed to like, getting up and going to another room and mm-hmm. playing on my PC. I'm just that lazy. So lazy. It's on me. It, no, I completely so feel the same Steam way. Box. You remember those? Oh. Everybody was talking I was about excited. those. I told you, this is the reason I was excited about it. And then no one's talking about them anymore. I don't know where they went. Gabe said, Gabe, and, I said Gabe like I know him. Gabe. And then you said Gabe. Gabe, and, Gabe. I will call, I can call him that. He yeah. said that he dreams for a Steam machine that can, that can run 12 displays at once. Wow. Yeah. Think about that in your house. Twelve <laughs> displays. I, I, It'd be like a wall, like you're watching like news and stuff, like a security, yeah. s- but you're just playing. It's totally all futuristic. It's like, like Total scene. Recall or something. It's like I was gonna say, it sounds like a scene from Clockwork Orange, where you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with little light yeah. <laughs> eye openers. And if your eyes get dry, the liquor is yeah. <laughs> gross. Too far, Meg. Aww. Has science gone too far? <laughs> um, uh, so BlizzCon is kicking off this weekend. I told myself I was not going to buy a virtual ticket. Did you I believe yourself? I swore to myself I was not going to buy a virtual ticket. Did you lie? Then I saw what the World of Warcraft pet is. You don't even play I this game even anymore. Wait, can I have it if you're not going to take I'm it? I'm going to take it. I'm, st- I'm starting again. <sighs> he's going to take it and he's going to sell gonna go it. I'm going to buy a stupid no, no, no. virtual pet just to get it. a Murloc <laughs> dressed as Gromosh Hellscream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're calling it a Gromlock. Aww, do we have a photo of it? $40 for that. Uh, I don't know if they have a photo of it, but here it is. Oh, blah, 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 blah. $40 for that. that noise. Oh, I have, a, I have a Murloc plushie that sits on my shelf that I went and got at BlizzCon. And it was very <laughs> one very exciting thing that I got there. You took money out of your life f- and put it into I a pet. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Honest. game that you're not playing. Have it. Let's be honest. I would have wasted that $40 anyway. Yeah, exactly. I do that where I'm like, look, if I don't buy this gaming PC, what am I going to buy? Am I going to buy lunch for a couple weeks? Like, this is ridiculous. Right. Might as well get something I'm going to use, like this World of Warcraft pet. But I like to see the level of integration now that Blizzard's doing across all of their properties. So it's like, you get that for World of Warcraft. For Hearthstone, you get a special card back. For StarCraft 2, you get portraits and a decal. For Diablo 3, you get a Warlords of Draenor weapon transmogrification. <laughs> and for the Heroes of the Storm, you get a Nexus mount and portrait. It's like every game they have, it's like you're going to get something. It's only 40 bucks. You'd be dumb not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I want a fire corgi. Oh, 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 yeah. That was yeah. for uh, the 10-year anniversary. anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fire corgi. So what is that going to be worth mm, four years from now? It probably binds to your account. You probably can't sell it or anything. Right. It's, it's bind on account. It probably just oh, shows up. Oh, they used to be able to resell those you, things. Before well, the code. Yeah, before they had the bind on account. Yeah, you could just oh. do that. I remember the big drama at my house was when... Um, Oh gosh! When the Wrath of the Lich King came out, uh-huh. you got if you got the collector's edition, you got uh, a special pet, and I f- redeemed my collector's edition. But my mom redeemed her regular edition first before upgrading to the collector's edition. She didn't get the pet, and every time I had it out, she'd be like, "Put your stupid <laughs> pet away! I hate him." That's, and pets are important to people. Well, who that's play all World they are there for, right? It's just <laughs> it's so like, you can be better hey than other people. Guys. <laughs> Check out this thing it's on so my shoulder. I went to the uh we've talked about oh this many God, times. Right. I have them. Yeah, I went to the first BlizzCon and I got the murky virtual pet. And I see two on eBay right now. One is ten thousand dollars and one is oh six thousand dollars. Wow. Or best offer. Uh, or, or best, best offer. And, and free shipping. Surprisingly, <laughs> uh they're still available. If anyone would like to purchase them right now. Oh, speaking of eBay, the ET games that were dug up are being sold now on eBay, and I have nine on my eBay watch list. Why? Okay. They, these games were so bad, Let me tell you they buried them in the ground. <laughs> Let me tell you why I want it, because I have an art piece in my house that is an ant farm that has little ants, little plastic ants at the top, and sand, and at the bottom, the artist made um, little plastic squares that had the ET logo and the Atari logo, so they're like buried under the ant farm. Oh. And it would be, uh, it was before they excavated them that I got this art piece. So it would be so cool to put next to the art piece the actual one of the actual cartridges. That way when people ask, what is that? You're like, I'm right there. Baby. <laughs> yeah, because it was really Let tiresome when this. they came to my apartment to be like, there's this urban legend and nobody knows if it's real. Let me show you art to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Thank you. Uh, I think I might have 
a copy of the ET game from when I was no, a kid. No, I want one with Seriously? dirt yeah. on it. No, no, no. I, I understand the difference. Uh, <laughs> I need to go home some glue and just yeah. throw some dirt on it. Are some there some, some good looking? Good. Okay. Gooder? Gooder? Oh my God. God. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Are you having a stroker? A stroker. Hey. Do you smell any? That sounds like something you find on a porn set. <laughs> Do you smell toaster? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Strudel? <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. Uh, that's okay. We're you can put Ur on the end of anything, and it's just greater. We've <laughs> we've only got five more minutes, sir. So uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have much longer to go. Um, so I guess uh, Bungie's talking about some of the free content that comes along to everyone, along with the Dark Below. So if you don't uh -huh. buy the expansion pass, you're still playing. There's stuff you get. I don't think it's necessarily. I don't think it's like anything special. Good? It's stuff that would have come along with a patch anyway. I yeah. think. Mm. Um, Oh, there's well, also the uh, uh, Destiny 2's in progress. <laughs> yep. I don't think that's a surprise. But no, but it's like, man, when are you gonna launch Destiny One <laughs> story? Uh, so they're they're have and they're gonna add new weapons, new armor for everyone, uh, new daily bounties, and five additional bounty slots. They don't even have enough time to tell you why they don't have enough time to tell you about Destiny One oh, story. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, joke of the week. Thank you. It landed. Yes. Nice. That was, that was, I saw it occur to her, too. I, like, I knew waiting. something great was coming. <laughs> the, we've interrupted Gus so much on this I one. Know, I was sorry. like, one of us That's is going to get hit. So. <laughs> no, I like it. I like, I like being interrupted. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's what his stroker does for him. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, think, I don't think anybody should be really surprised necessarily that Destiny 2 is in the works. What I'm more surprised at is that it would be called... Or referred to as Destiny 2. Yeah, what story are they continuing on with? Or no, not even that. It's like the way that they've built the platform, wouldn't it just be like continued expansions? Like there is yeah. no World of Warcraft 2. Right. There's just like the expansions that come out for it. And they've already set up the fact that it's like, well, everything else is gone. I mean, this is it. This is why all the alien races are here is because all everything outside the solar system is consumed by darkness. Is it? Unnamed darkness <laughs> that we will not explain, but uh, it's just really dark. It is super duper it's darkness. It's really dark out there. <laughs> See yeah, all the stars in the have... night sky? No, dark. <laughs> they're going to have um, Destiny 2, and then every other, like, other year they're going to have more DLC and a bunch of other stuff coming out. So they have stuff planned. They've got mm. their calendar stocked to like 2020. You think they'll call it? Well, they always said it was going to be a ten-year franchise. I mean, that was or nine and a half-year franchise. No, but that wasn't them, was it? I thought that was Watch Dogs who said it was a ten-year franchise. Uh, no, I think no, it was Destiny. Destiny. Was it Destiny? Yeah, Bungie's okay. always said that they were establishing a new franchise hmm. and that they had plans for it for at least ten years. But yeah, I mean, come on, guys, give us something to work with. We're getting there. <laughs> give me a. Stroker. It's like if Zero Point had a sequel, like Zero Point Two. Now with <laughs> they would have, fifteen minutes. It, it of would footage. be a fail if they didn't call it Zero Point One. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they would. They, they would. They have. They have to learn their decimals. Um, so again, there's a couple minutes left. Well, I'm sure we'll find out about this during BlizzCon on Friday. But people are beginning to speculate about new Blizzard properties and expansions because they filed for trademarks for where what was it? The Battle for the Southern Ridge. And then there's names and questions are the Eyes of Ashara and Overwatch. So there's like some new... For Hearthstone? Yeah. There's some new... They, well, people are speculating on Hearthstone. They don't know definitively yet. Mm -hmm. Or if it's if there's going to be a new World of Warcraft expansion tease at BlizzCon or if something's going on. Do they, uh, do they think these are... Well, I guess if they're filing for trademark, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it wouldn't be like a code name. That would have to actually be a product name. It'd mm -hmm. be really weird to trademark your fake name. Yeah, it's in copyright. Oh, oh go ahead. Uh, real fast, I, I'm gonna make a quick correction. Mm -hmm. I, in, I, I when I said the Battle for the Southern Ridge, that was joystick making fun of oh. titles. The actual names in question are the Eyes of Ashar and Overwatch. Uh, wow, Battle for the Southern really Ridge. That sounds really sexual if you think about the Battle for the Southern Ridge. Like. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, but speaking of copyright news, super quickly, Bethesda had to shoot down rumors today that they don't, they weren't copyright trying to copyright. Uh, oh God, what were they? It was it a was new Fallout something game. Something from Boston. Yeah, Shadow like of Boston Shadow or something. Shadow of Boston, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. They were like, oh, that's not us. So, And some German guy apparently emailed Kotaku and was like, dee it was me! <laughs> I is fooled it, you! Is this the same guy who made that prank site, like, counting down to a f fake Fallout 4 announcement? Yes, apparently he really loves to make fake Fallout announcements. So, like, even in the Kotaku article, they were like, good job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to goad them into action. Like, hey, hey. If I keep doing fake stuff, sooner or later, they'll have to tell us something true. Try it with Half-Life. See if that works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get on that one. We, yeah, we, we definitely know there's another Fallout coming. Half-Life's been in question for a while. All right. Well, we're pretty much at time. we got to go ahead and call it. Um, call it what? We're going to call it at call the end of the patch. Duty? So but look, th there's still sand. 
<laughs> okay, I'll, I'll mention one more thing. Okay. PS4 sales, 13.5 million consoles. And Xbox had, what, five-ish? Five. Yeah, well, the Xbox is unclear. Five they, withdrawn. Yeah, they posted an <laughs> Xbox Wire update saying something like five million Xbox One gamers are blah, blah, blah. And then they amended it to say... They removed that and they just said millions of Xbox gamers are. Wow, blah, blah, blah. PlayStation's like 13.5 million and you're like, 5 million! Oh. Yeah. Millions! So, With lots! There's so a, many! There's a, a bit of an imbalance there. Uh, Xboxers, we'll, we'll, you're not alone. We'll see if the $50 price cut helps them, that, which just started this week, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. On but Monday. It's so dumb to be like, hey, by the way, don't buy anything for the next week from us because <laughs> the ne next week it's going to be cheaper. <laughs> don't do that! That's dumb. <laughs> All right. Well, we're that's exhausted now, so we're done. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back on Monday <laughs> with an episode of the podcast. Tuesday with screenplay. Next Wednesday, Wednesday with an episode of the patch. Uh, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.